All right, guys. Uh, today I was going to talk about the venerable classic Victorinox Spartan. I've got loads of these kicking about. You can pick these up for about 16, 17 quid off of Jeff Bezos's big shop in the UK. This is the kind of the, supposedly the classic Victorinox uh, Swiss Army knife, the one that's uh, the direct descendant of the original uh, officer's knife. The one that all the other 91 millimeter models are based on so i wanted to talk about this because i think these are a really great model everything you need nothing that you don't these are great tool set wise these are wonderful for edc for all those little tasks you might need handy tool in your pocket this is perfect it's really slim it's really light it's pretty compact just a two layer knife so you get the can opener with the flathead, small flathead tip on there, which is great for most Phillips screws. You've got the bottle opener, the little wire, little wire stripping notch there, or wire bending notch. It does kind of work in a pinch. Uh, flathead on there, really sturdy little tool for light duty prying tasks. These open paint cans and things like that, no problem. As opposed to, as I've said in other videos, as opposed to the combo tool, which is supposed to replace the can opener, the bottle opener, and a flathead, and a Phillips driver, all in one with a wire stripper there. This is, this is a good tool in theory, but not so great in practice. It's a fair bit slimmer and flimsier than the dedicated uh, bottle opener tool that you get on the Spartan. These will bend opening well-stuck paint cans. These won't. This is a sturdy little great handy tool. And of course you've got the main blade. Uh, as everyone knows, Victorinox steel isn't perhaps the best edge retaining super steel in the whole world, but it's a good steel. It's really easy to sharpen. It won't tarnish. This is great. The main blade, I tend to reserve this for bigger tasks. You've got the secondary small blade. This, this would be the, the one that I'd use for opening packaging material, stuff like that. You get more control with this for fine tasks. It's kind of nice having a secondary blade. Uh, on some of the tools, like the Sportsman or the Cadet, the secondary small blade is replaced with like a file with a little tip on it, which is great for small Phillips screws, but it's 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 good. It's nice having a small secondary blade there. Then on the back side, you get Victorinox's wonderful awl. Uh, this is a great tool. It can be used for striking ferro rods, obviously for boring holes, for field repairs when you might need to sew something really handy little secondary or oh, third and dairy blade to have on this you can put this through some real rough use and of course the uh, corkscrew corked wine bottles are quite rare now but this can be used for untying knots uh, if you do happen to have a corked bottle of wine this will save the day and it has for me on a number of occasions also it holds the a great receptacle for the uh, for the small flathead driver, which is also brilliant on really tiny Phillips screws, like in kids' toys and stuff like that. Of course, behind there, there's a slot for the little pin. That could come in useful for a number of tasks. Mm, not something I use all the time. I've used uh, the pin out of a Victorinox to unblock my rear windscreen washer on my car use it for popping stuff, resetting gadgets, ejecting your SIM card. It's handy to have. Then of course you get the scale tools, a little toothpick in there. Uh, I do use the toothpick fairly often. And to give it a thorough cleaning after every occasion of use. But yeah, to me the toothpick is quite handy. I know a lot of people think it's useless, it ain't, ain't for me. And on the other side you get the tweezers good for tweezing tasks. Um, on most of my 91mm Victorinox knives, I always buy the plus scales. Well, that's not a plus either, but yeah, I bought these plus scales uh, as a secondary aftermarket purchase. So the plus scales gains you a slot for the pen, a pressurized pen, uh, which in theory, because it's pressurized, like the space pen will work in outer space or through grease underwater in cold temperatures, hot temperatures. Very handy to have. Uh, I use the pen a lot of times. 
just as an emergency backup, you've got to sign something, whatever you've got to jot, jot down a quick note. It's really handy to have a pen. So, yeah, I think the Spartan is a great model. Slim, light, small, really cheap. All that utility packed in a little blade there. A lot of people say they can't do without scissors on their Victorinox, and I do use the scissors a lot. Uh, here's the, the compact there. That's got the large scissors on. I don't know if you can see that, but the compact is actually marginally thicker than the Spartan. The compact, you get, instead of the wonderful awl, you get the ruddy hook. Some people absolutely love the hook. I have yet to find any use for this that cannot be achieved with uh, another tool already present on the Victorian. So I have used this for pulling tent pegs. It worked quite well for that. People often say about hooking uh, your pot off the stove when you're out cooking, grabbing the handles. Well, yeah, that's fine. But, you know, that upturned and grab your pot off the, the stove quite easily. I'd rather have that all any day. Much more useful tool for me. I used to be of the opinion that if you've got a knife or on the Spartan two blades, then why do you need scissors? I mean, the scissors are useful for nail maintenance, uh, can be useful in first aid applications. Scissors are useful on occasion. Having those two blades coming together can be more useful than having a cutting blade that you've got to pull and push to, to cut something for safety reasons and stuff like that, so it is useful. On the climber, the climber is the next model up. It's all the same tools as the Spartan, but you gain the scissors as well. I mean, that's a fair, that's a three layer knife, the uh, the climber, and so you gain it. I mean, it's hardly massive, is it, geez? But you're gaining a little bit of chunkiness in order to add the scissors on there. I love the climber as well, but the Spartan, there's a cheap, shove it in your pocket. It's cheap, it's wonderful, it's well made, it's Victorinox, the quality is flawless. This kind of is the classic Victorinox. Uh, I've got these dotted all over. Um, I've got loads of these because they're so cheap, they're so useful. It's a great tool. What do you think, the Spartan? Everything you need and nothing you don't? Or does it not have everything you need? So you've got to consider alternative models like the Compact, the Climber, etc. There are hundreds of models, aren't they, of Victorinox? You can't go wrong with a Spartan, I don't think. Hope you're having a nice day. Uh, but you lucky. <laughs>